This is problem number nine from section 310. And this problem it says, coffee is draining from a conical filter into a cylindrical coffee pot at a rate of 12 inches cubed per minute. Complete parts A and B. So it says, part A, how fast is the level in the pot rising when the coffee in the cone is seven inches deep? So I went ahead and filled this in right away uh, that if they're asking how much the pot is rising, they're really asking for the change in height with respect to time. And then in part B, they're saying, how fast is the level in the cone falling then? So how fast is the level in this cone falling? Well, they're asking us for, again, for dH over dt, but this is for the cone. Now, we need to write some equations for the, uh, for the cone and for the uh, coffee pot. So we're going to start by saying the cone, the volume equation for the cone, we used it earlier, uh, and it is pi r squared h over 3. Now one thing to notice about the cone is that the height and the diameter are the same. So I can go ahead and say that the radius is actually going to be 1 half the height. So that's a little piece of information that's, uh, that's nice to use here because we have 8 for both the height and the diameter. Now for the uh, coffee pot, so cone and then the pot, we're going to say that that is volume equals, well, for a pot, you have a circle, and then the height of that circle determines the volume. So we're going to say pi r squared times the height. So pi r squared h. Now the thing about the pot is that the radius never changes here. The radius stays 8 inches the whole time. So we're going to say that r equals a constant, which helps us out for this problem. Let's start by taking the derivative with respect to t for this equation. And remember that r squared and pi, those are constants. So that's dv over dt equals pi r squared, and then derivative of h is just dh over dt. So now we know some stuff in this problem. They've given us the the radius of this pot, the radius of the pot is 4, so we can say that the dv over dt, this is 12, and this is inches cubed per minute equals pi 4 inches squared dh over dt. Divide this across, then we end up with dh over dt equals 12 inches cubed per minute divided by pi 4 inches squared. So when we plug that in, we end up with 0.239, and we divide the labels, we get inches per minute. So it's basically for this coffee pot, pot, it's increasing by a quarter inch per minute. And this is a positive number here. And remember, we used a positive volume because we're gaining volume into the pot. Now for the cone, the volume actually here is going to be negative. It'll be the same volume, but we're going to use a negative number for that. First thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to start by saying 1 half h is what r is. I'm going to plug that in here, and I'm going to get v equals pi and this will be 1 half h squared h over 3, which when we go ahead and multiply this, this will be v equals 1 half squared is 1 fourth, and then h squared. So we end up with uh, 1 fourth h squared times pi times h over 3. We can simplify this more and say that this is really just 1 twelfth uh, pi h cubed. So now from there we can go ahead and do the derivative with respect to time. And when we're doing the derivative with respect to time, this is going to give us, so we're doing the derivative here of, I shouldn't say equals, this is v equals 1 half, 1 12 pi h cubed. So we end up with dv 
over dt equals, when we do the derivative here, the 3 comes to the front, so 3 twelfths is actually 1 fourth pi h squared dh over dt. Now we're solving for dh over dt, so I'm going to rewrite this as dh over dt is equal to, and then when I divide this across, I have dv over dt over 1 fourth pi h squared. So dv over dt is negative 12 inches cubed per minute divided by 1 fourth pi h in our case, which in our problem we had h to be 7. So we're going to use a 7 squared here. 7 inches squared, I should say. And when we plug all that in, we end up with a, a negative 0.312 inches per minute. Now, one thing to keep in mind, it's kind of the wording here. They say it's falling, so they might actually want the positive version of this because they specifically say falling. Um, but, I mean, we're losing basically... 0.3 or just over a quarter inch per minute for the uh, height there on the cone.